Welcome back to Night Mine, friends. I hope you're ready to resume our trip to Florida. Our new friend Noah Maxwell could use some company right now. When we last left Noah, he had just witnessed the footage from his Thanksgiving trip in which events he can't remember led to him standing in a bloody, torn up t-shirt and brandishing a knife. After making a hasty exit and returning home, Noah discovered that his stalker and home intruder, the Observer, may have been to blame for what went on. It's still not clear who the Observer is or what they want, but after considering his options to investigate further, Noah realizes he does have one lead. Debating with myself on going to Victor Park to investigate the place, I've just been having this craving to return and I don't know why. Found this photo on my desktop. No idea how it got there. Follow the arrows.jpg might be an area from Victor Park. Someone's been fucking with my laptop. Just found a bunch of odd files in a hidden folder named Ghostroot on my System32 directory. SMGhost DT, Keylog, DT Client, Task Trans 12, Kernel Mole, Stroke Gen, DLP Core, Node Relay. These sound malicious. Shit. I tried to open one of the executable files, but it deleted itself along with the entire folder. It's all gone now. God damn it. I think it was a data transfer protocol. It must have been how that one-way picture got on my desktop. I managed to nab some screenshots. The hidden ghostroot folder in my System32. Inside the ghostroot folder, there was a slew of dangerous looking shit in there. After I tried to open one of the files, the folder disappeared and this pop-up window came up. It was him alright. I don't know what terrible shit he was doing to my computer or how that got there. I don't even know if it's all gone. Running virus scans now. I ran several scans with 10 different bots. Zero hits. No infections. How the hell is he getting into my system? Everything's encrypted! The flash drive. It was a plant. He planned this all along to watch me. It was over as soon as I plugged that flash drive into my computer. Noah is right. The files he discovered are all forms of spyware. Two specific files are worth noting. Keylog and Node Relay. A keylogger is a form of spyware that tracks the entire history of text entered into a computer from the moment of recording. Node Relay is most likely a program designed to take the information stolen from Noah's computer and send it to the spy online through an anonymous network, which means the observer is gaining all of Noah's written information and trying to cover his tracks. Usernames, passwords, messages, he's getting everything Noah has typed. And that wouldn't be the end of it either. The rest of the files seem to be pointing at different functions and methods of spying and record keeping throughout the laptop. It's safe to assume that Noah's entire user history online and off has been redirected to the observer. He's been bugged for a while now. The key to not having nightmares is to not sleep at all. Insomnia has its benefits and flaws. My dreams are starting to creep into reality. Woke up sick, nose clogged, head pounding, nauseous, fever. Weak. I caught something bad. Just woke up from a bad fever dream. I was in the nature trail at night, staring up at the tower from below. Someone was up there. I felt it. I'm finally starting to get over this terrible cold, so I've decided to go visit the Victor Park Nature Trail this Sunday, the 13th. I'm bringing a bike, a knife, and a camera, and I'm going alone. What do you think you'll find at Victor Park? Clues, leads, answers even. It's certainly more productive than calling dead numbers every day hoping for someone to pick up. Going to Victor Park after I finish my studies at around 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll send updates from my phone. The observation tower is still closed, but I went up anyway. He's left things for me here. I've got them on tape. I think he's definitely been here recently. I can just sense it. On high alert. The other guy, the one in the suit, he's up there, he's fucking standing up there! Oh god, he's gone, what the fuck, what the fuck?! Observer, he is here, help me, help me, help! Help, help, help me, 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 help me,
in our possession now. Be right back. 11 11 come closer 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 to a snow Hello again my children, let us play a little game, the first 20 to answer my riddle correctly will receive a Maxwell family memento, you have one hour to answer. Inside my body lies somebody's mind, thoughts transferred and then refined, my body may age, fade and rot but the contents I contain inside do not, what am I? The time for guessing has ended. Diary or notebook or journal would have been acceptable answers. To those of you who have answered correctly, enjoy your prize. We have decided to return Noah. For now, I will return. Keep your eyes open. I'm back home. Don't know how I got here. Woke up by my house. It's dark out now. Where the fuck was I for two and a half hours? Did I bike back? I can't remember at all. God damn it, he's hacked into my shit again. I can't change back my profile pictures on any of my accounts. This is not happening. No fucking way. Not a whole goddamn week. This is absolutely unbelievable. There's no way I have been gone for a week. I'm freaking the fuck out. Where the hell have I been? 
I thought I was gone for a few hours, but I've been gone a full week. All I can remember was arriving at the park, then blackness. I still have my knife, but I found this written on one side. That symbol was drawn onto my left hand. The tape. The fucking tape. The camera was recording the whole time. I don't remember any of it, but it's all there. I was attacked. Got recommended to this Mibit.com chat, Habits and Gora. I was told that people there could help me figure out what the hell is going on. Talk with the Everyman Hybrid guys, who seem to be experiencing similar occurrences and some others on Mibit. Didn't get many answers. I managed to change most of my account info back to how it all was before this whole damn ordeal. Still can't change any of my profile pics. This was the prize that the Observer sent out to people when he was in control of my account. Tagbook.jpg Going to upload the nature trail footage very soon. It's unnerving and I don't remember most of it, but it needs to be seen. Noah begins by approaching the boardwalk, but leaves and says, not today. He roams around to the nature trail and goes there on his bike instead, leading to the observation tower. At the top, a note is found. Hello, Noah. We can see you from up here. He leaves the observation tower and heads to the areas he can remember Milo acting strange in. <laughs> you want me to fucking find you? I'll goddamn find you. I'll goddamn find you. I'll break your fucking head in. <laughs> Where the hell are you, huh? Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh shit. You're up there, huh? I'm fucking coming. <laughs> wanna fuck play it that way? Here I come, motherfucker. Go. Where'd you go? Oh, come on. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on. This can't be fucking happening. You fucking scare me. Damn, fuck it. Yeah. The fuck are you hiding?
Noah wakes up and finds himself in his own backyard. He doesn't know how he got here and seems too worked up to speak. A final frame message is included. Got you. Since the nature trail incident, things have been quiet again. I've begun to hate silence. It's more mysterious than actual noise. Fear breeds fear. The key is to let go of fear. He who is brave is free. I can't run away from this any longer. I need to run towards it. I'm enjoying this quiet spell right now. Somehow, sooner or later, I know things are going to get loud. Been having some weird dreams recently. I feel as if I am being followed closely behind. Eyes are a reoccurring element. They're everywhere. Very lucid dream. Woke up. Had to draw it. The eyes surrounded me. They were hungry. He was watching, grinning. Parents are coming home for a few weeks on vacation. They've decided to remodel some rooms. Hopefully nothing happens while they're here. Tempted to talk with my parents about the old house fire again. I want to tape it, but I don't want them knowing. I'll have to be sneaky. Got a strange envelope in the mail. No return address. Opening now. It's starting again. Fuck all. This is beyond mysterious. Getting a video out as soon as I can. This has to be documented. I'm going to post three videos tomorrow instead of one long one. It's more convenient for me and it takes less time to render. The first of the videos, Summer Update, is Noah's way of providing some information on what's been going on during the last few months. College finals are over, his parents have remodeled the house, and he's disabled his laptop, webcam, and microphone. Unfortunately, he can't change his profile pictures back from the symbol that the Observer has placed and still can't reach Mary Asher, Carl, or even John Fletcher. In Secret Parent Interview, Noah speaks to his parents about their old house, which burnt down when he was seven. He had been alone with his babysitter at the time, Katie, who was burned in the accident. Noah had been found unconscious in his room and there was apparently another neighborhood family this happened to. During government visits for investigation, they remember seeing a man in a suit far off from the others, completely bald, who didn't seem to leave his spot. Eh, he looked like some Kojak wannabe, completely bald. What was his name? Sweetheart, we just uh, saw him from pretty far. How far do you think? They kept us a few hundred feet back, even though everything was just ash. Um, only police and firefighters were allowed any closer. What was his name? To be honest, Noah, uh, I don't think we ever spoke to him. You serious? You didn't, you didn't think that was strange? You didn't ask anybody what he was doing there? A strange guy walking around the house? Honestly, we just wanted to know if the whole thing was malicious. Once we found out it was electrical, we, we mellowed down. Seriously, what's with the questions? Uh, uh, um, sorry. Uh, listen, when, when I was in New York and I saw Granddad after the funeral, he, he, he told me some, some odd things about a guy and... Oh, come uh, on, Noah. You know Carl is going senile. Oh, uh, not this again. I'm gonna have a I know, I know. I was just, I was just curious. Um... Did, did he ever tell you anything odd, like, like disturbing or anything? When I was young, he used to tell war stories. Tall tales of his secret ops missions. <laughs> Mary and I thought he was making it all up. And there's no real proof that he was in the OSS anyway. Hey, speaking of Mary, what the hell is with her? She's completely gone, she totally disappeared after the funeral, and I, I can't make any sort of contact with her. Do you have any idea what happened? Honey, you know we don't talk to each other anymore. And the third video, The Envelope. Got this envelope in the mail today. No return address. Just, just this big purple X made of duct tape on the front. At the bottom here, ashes, ashes. And under the flap at the top, we all fall down. Four strange things in this envelope, each, each being more mysterious than the last, we'll leave it at that. First of all, we have this. It's, it's like a postcard or something. On the front, it's, it's like a glossy photo of a shot from, it's taken from the tape that I recovered in the box analysis video. It says at the top, we're all just creatures of... 
on the back. Not an observer, just an old connection, yours. There's no signature. Second, at the bottom, crumpled up, I found this badly burnt piece of paper with text on it. I think it's a letter or something. Uh, I don't know who wrote it or who it was intended to be for, but I just know that it's dated 1995 and that it mentions Milo. Penultimately, we have this old Polaroid picture. It's also dated from 95. You can see three people standing together here in the middle of the shot, their face faces scribbled out, like Sharpie or something. At the bottom, it's kind of hard to read because it's faded, but it says Mary, Milo, Dr. C, 1995. So, what I'm thinking, apparently this is Milo at seven years old, seven-year-old Milo and his mom, Mary. It's worn and faded real bad, scratched up to hell, but I don't know who this guy is, this, this man... Dr. C, but, you know, I'm, I'm just presuming it's one of Milo's many psychologists that he frequented over the years. Never seen this picture before. And finally, we have this. It's a small, torn scrap of paper from God knows what. Uh, it says, Unrel Ner narrator maybe I don't know I can't tell if this is a code or not or something like that but uh there's a little bit of black ink at the top of right uh, upper right hand corner here so um I'm thinking this is probably maybe a part of a larger piece of paper or something and that's it finally each of Noah's uploads included a final frame message put all three together and it reads it is only a matter of time I've spoken with the Everman Hybrid crew per your suggestions. Apparently that Dr. C from the photo may be a doctor named James Corenthal. He's been in my fucking room. Woke up from a nightmare and found something he hid. Some damn device. How long has this shit been in my room? He's really fucking with me again. Posting a video of what I've got on film ASAP. I can't explain anything. No chance of sleeping tonight. The bulwark, the bulwark, I was there. I, my dream, I, I just had a dream. It was dark, dusk, like, real dark, and it, I, fucking someone standing at the far end, and I ran, I fucking, I fucking ran, I booked it towards them, and it, I ran as fast as I fucking could. It, it didn't feel like a dream. It felt like a fucking memory. Like, I was just there a minute ago. It was, it was calling, it was, it was, whatever it was, it was fucking calling my name. I don't know, I, I don't know why I ran, but I, I fucking ran. And I woke up just a minute ago, like, I think someone was with me, I, I really don't remember, but it was so real. It, it wasn't like one of those dreams where you wake up and you, you realize, hey, it was a dream. No, it felt like it fucking actually happened, and, and when I, w fuck, what the fuck is that shit? Noah proceeds to change the batteries in the smoke alarm, but still hears the noise after doing so. He explains he's been hearing it for about three days, and distortion rolls through as he explores the house. He ends up finding a device hidden in his home and it's confirmed this is the source of the noise as it beeps in his hand. A motor is spinning on the back and there's a note attached. We are listening. As always, the observer shows his true power by including a final frame message. Soon. Noah doesn't seem to hesitate after this discovery. The very next day, he uploads a new video, Device Analysis. He's called his friend Edward to check out the device and see what he thinks. Uh, hey guys, Noah here. My buddy Edward's here with me too. Oh, hey. And uh, he and I go way back. Whoa, wait. Did you see that? Around the corner. 
Look closely, I'm going to go through much more slowly. Who or what was that? It moved very fast, but it looked like someone trying to lean in for a closer look. Is Noah's stalker in the house right now, even as he's got a friend over? Has the observer been inside since Noah found the device? Neither he nor Edward seemed to notice someone in the hallway and continue with their discussion of the machine Noah found. Edward confirms what Noah thought. It's an audio recorder that's either storing or transmitting data. There's a USB cable to plug the device into a computer and Edward advises Noah to open it up, cut a few individual wires and then plug it in to explore. A final frame image is shown when the video ends with a message. We will have you. Thinking a lot about what Edward said, I may cut the USB data wires tonight and plug it into my computer to see what it does. I trust him. Okay, I'm feeling really confident tonight. Plus, curiosity is killing me, so I'll plug it in my laptop to see if something activates. Since no data can be transferred, I feel safe enough. Also, I'll go to the library tomorrow to see if I can recover any data off it. I'll resolder the data wires and plug it into a public library computer. I'll film all of this, so if anything happens, you'll see it. Yeah, I can't believe that just happened. What I just heard come out of that fucking thing. Library tomorrow. I feel nauseous. Fuck it all. Reconnected the wires and went to the library today. Found some files on the device. Disturbing files. Findings posted later tonight. Power went out early in the morning. My luck. They said the internet will be 100% fixed tonight at around 10pm. Uploading the video then. Noah does manage to get the video uploaded, and when the device is plugged in, the result is much more than just unexpected. A transcript of the audio was loaded in the video description. Okay, just making a little noise. And...
No. There's no way that that just happened. No. Fucking way. The next day I soldered the data wires back together and I went to my local library. I snuck the device inside so I could plug it into a library computer and maybe see if anything was stored on it. I also uh, disconnected the wires connecting the speaker too just in case any sound would play like what happened the night before. Turns out the device actually contained some memory, uh, several files on a 2 gigabyte flash drive labeled AURIS, A-U-R-I-S, in caps, uh, contained three sound files, an image, a few DLLs and other odd script files, command prompts and such. Just to check if anything was hidden, I enabled hidden folders, and lo and behold, a hidden folder revealed itself called Cassium, also in caps. Inside, uh, I found these fucked up files similar to the ones that I found in my System32, along with a DLL and a text file. Keeping um, in mind that trying to access these files may trigger a kill switch protocol that might automatically delete all the files before I could access them, like what happened to the files I found hidden on my System32. I uh, copied the media files into one flash drive and copied the script, command prompts, and other files into another one, just in case. The three audio files freaked me out pretty badly because they confirmed my suspicions that I was, in fact, being monitored. The file labeled 8-1-11 is a 24-hour sound file, pretty much a recording of my room from midnight of the 31st of July to 11.59 p.m. on the 1st of August. The entire day was recorded. I skimmed through the file and and even found that it picked up a phone call that I made to my parents that day. And the other file, dated the next day, 8-2-11, was 3 hours and 15 minutes of audio. Uh, a recording of 12 a.m. midnight to uh, 3.15 a.m. The recorded audio being of me waking up, finding the device, and ending when I unplugged the 9 volt battery after I finished recording that one video. Uh, the special message file is the voice that came out of the speaker when I plugged uh, the device into my laptop from The Observer, as he likes to fucking call himself. This is the picture that was inside the drive. Really fucking strange and creepy. The fucker says I'm blind, deaf, and dumb, and whatever. And the text file that was hidden inside the Cassium folder is just a bunch of text making up a silhouette of someone. Looks like him again with the fucking eye on the face. That bullshit. But the worst part of all of this is, judging by the dates on the files, most of all of them originate March 13th. And that was the day that I, I got fucked up at the nature trail and blacked out for a week. And not only that, but it says that the special message file was also created then too. If so, how the hell did he know that I was going to cut the wires like he said in the message? How did the speaker even play the message if the wires were disconnected? How the shit did he get the thing into my house in the first place? And to top all those fucking questions off, where the hell was this thing before my floor was redone? Because it had to have been somewhere if it was... Ah, oh, never fucking mind. In conclusion, I've been bugged since at least March. Apparently this observer fuck has been sending day-long sound clips of my everyday activity to himself via this fucking thing. I am destroying this godforsaken piece of shit right after I finished recording this video. And I'm going to search my house for any other monitoring devices. As for the other script files, whatever the hell they are, I'll be sending them to one of my coding friends on the internet to see if he can make any heads or tails of what their functions might be. And to you, Mr. Observer, if you're watching this right now, you're not going to fucking get away with this shit. I'm never going to fucking stop until I find you and I kill you. And your tall friend too, Maxwell out.
The final frame message is a continuation of the last one. We will have you again. The drive Noah opened in the library was named Oris. On that was a hidden folder titled Cassium and inside a text document, Oculus. All three of these words are Latin. Oris means ear. Cassium doesn't have a direct translation but does have a derivative word, Cassius, which stems from Cassis, meaning empty or vain. Information on Cassium may also lead to the meaning metal helmet. Both of these seem to be referring to the head. Oculus means eye. The title of the JPEG image Noah found is in base 64 coding and says Casa Certus Mutus in Latin, which means blind, deaf, and dumb. The same insults in the picture. All fragments of coding in the text document are also in base 64 and read as follows. Hello yet again Noah, we watch you as you decipher this. Infinite eyes. It is a big lie, Noah. Your life. My alone knew. In the end, you will understand. I am always right behind you, even in your dreams. We live within the walls. Look behind you. We seek the journal. The journal holds the secret. We observe forever. Visiting family in New York in a week or two. Gonna try to stop by Grandpa Carl and the EMH crew in New Jersey to ask about the envelope I got in person. Thinking of having a live stream sometime soon, maybe this weekend. We'll see. Going to have the live stream tonight at around 8 p.m. Florida time. The live stream occurs on schedule in which Noah speaks to fans about his life and answers general questions. After all the observers references the journal, someone asks what Noah thinks. He knows only two journals. One that belonged to Milo and had a lock on it, and one that his grandfather Carl mentioned the dead Nazi who was taken by the Grossman in the Black Forest had. While talking with viewers, Noah's livestream is cut off by the following video. The same video was uploaded to YouTube on Noah's channel by The Observer with a base 64 code in the description. This is your warning. The music playing is a backwards, distorted version of Mr. Sandman, a possible reference to the poster in Noah's room which may be The Observer's way of saying he's been inside to see it. During my live stream, a video played without my permission. It was then uploaded straight to my YouTube account. Police arrived. They found absolutely nothing. This was slipped under my door when I first went to leave the room. I'm an insomniac, not only because of all the shit that's been happening, but in the hopes that I'll wake up from this nightmare at any moment. Things have calmed down a bit. The calm feels like both a placid silence and a foreboding omen. Planning my New York, New Jersey visit now. Looks like the cheapest flight to New York is late tonight. Gonna jump on it. I'll probably stay a week and come back on Friday the 23rd. Okay, there is something really odd in the footage I took on the plane that I don't remember. I'll upload it with the rest of my New York trip. Gonna try to see Grandpa Carl tonight. I've taken the liberty of sending him German emails and letters in advance so he knows to expect me. The bastard didn't let me in. I waited on his doorstep for 10 minutes but to no avail. The neighbors gave me looks so I left quickly. Taking the train to see the Everyman hybrid crew in New Jersey. Bringing photocopies of the envelope. Hopefully, we can help each other figure out things. It's good to see Noah finally getting some help with his situation, especially from people who know it well. The EMH guys are the ones to talk to. That envelope from earlier with Dr. Corinthal's picture inside could have only come from one person. Or being. Will Noah discover any of the answers he's looking for? We'll find out soon when the stories of both Tribe 12 and Everyman Hybrid continue in Everyman Hybrid Explained Part 4.
A whole new understanding of the universe our characters in constant peril inhabit is about to start unfolding, and it's only smart for these guys to meet up and discuss some type of plan. There's always strength in numbers even when you're up against extreme paranormal evil. I hope you've enjoyed this unexpected detour from Everyman Hybrid explained to catch up with Noah Maxwell and learn his story. If you're excited for his meeting with the EMH guys, feel free to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe in order to catch Everyman Hybrid Explained Part 4 the moment it arrives. You don't want to be late for the very first crossover event in the Slenderverse. And for those who like up-to-the-minute information and extras, I'm always active on Twitter and Tumblr. Thanks again for joining me in the dark this evening. Once more, I'm Nick Nocturne, and like the sinister psycho who's been watching you for months, I'll be seeing you again real soon. Sleep tight.